Today we are going to find out how to turn a cheap boring quad into a real electric beast. Let's go! Hi guys, as usually it's me, just a voiceover and you are watching review machines. You might have seen our video about electric enduro. This time the same guys have made this project. Here there is the core of the idea. They took an old the cheapest quad with a dead engine and modified it into an electric version. But they didn't want to get another boring electric vehicle, no. The main purpose of the project was to create a real electric beast that would be able to impress everyone. Moreover, it should have a decent battery and range. And today we are going to find out if these guys managed to achieve these purposes. To implement on the ground this project, the best electric components were chosen. This kit is mounted instead of the engine and it fits perfectly. The weight of the kit is 27 kilos, so the total weight of the vehicle remains the same. A good quality electric motor Denzel 75O is used here. Its brushless motor, the power is 7.5 kW and 15 kW peak power. Well, the motor is very powerful, but what's about the battery? We see here lithium LG battery, 48 ampere hour and 72 volts. These batteries are used in electric car Chevrolet Volt, for example. By the way, the charging time is not very long, it's only 2 hours. Also, there is a controller, Kelly KOS 7230. All the other parts of the quad were not modified. Though, it's high time to have a ride, isn't it? By the way, today a pro rider will help us to test this quad. First of all, let's try it on a rough terrain. The very first thing I want to mention about this quad is a superfluous power. It can't be even compared with the Petro version. This completely boring quad became a real electric beast, as if some reckless demon moved into this piece of machinery. So I have every reason to state, it's a really a superfluous power. And now it's better to be used only by a pro riders. At least it's completely not suitable for children now. Just push a throttle a bit and the wheels immediately start drifting. And the strangest thing here, that we see this insane performance in silence, without any engine noises. Just sounds of the tires. Well, it's awesome, but to my mind, the creators of this quad should install a proper suspension here, cause the stock one won't live long, I think. On a straightway, the quad is impressive as well. Despite the snow, it takes off like a shot. It's hard to convey these feelings by words. It would be much better to try this smooth power yourself. It's so impressive. Just slightly steer a throttle and you'll be shocked by the instant reaction of the motor. There is no transmission, so acceleration is smooth and so powerful. No matter how many horsepower your gas engine has, it will never be able to provide such feelings. The next test, hill climbing. By the way, it may seem that we've started to ride on the quad few minutes ago, but in fact we had ridden it several hours by the moment. So the battery now is significantly discharged. Moreover, the temperature outside is about 10 degrees below zero. And the battery is not so effective in such weather. Nevertheless, our quad is climbing the hill without any efforts. And the indicator shows almost a full battery. Speaking about the battery, I really liked its performance. While we was shooting this video, there were many accelerations, stops and jerks. All this stuff eats the battery most of all. Taking into account the frosty weather, I thought the battery would be dead very soon. But in fact, for several hours of aggressive riding, we couldn't discharge it more than a half. And the creators of the project says that it will be enough for all day long.
Well guys, we have a rear wheel drive thing here. And we have a pro rider. So it's high time to do some drifting. And while our rider is having fun, let's talk a little about the future of such modifications. As you can see, even today such machines are worth of our attention. But the batteries become more and more effective every day. So I think they will replace gas engines soon. Electric vehicles don't need any maintenance. They are eco-friendly, quite and powerful. Many people say that electric transport can't provide such fun as gas engines. Well, it's a matter of taste. To my mind, they can give you even more fun. So guys, please, pass the comments. What do you think, if electric motors will replace gas engines soon or not? And my most favorite part of any hour shootings, trying it myself. And again, the first thing I want to say, it's superfluous power. If I didn't know about this mod, I would never expect such a performance from this tiny quad. It's almost intimidating acceleration. To my mind, it would be even reasonable to restrain the power in the controller. It's too much for such a little thing. And such a solution would provide a better range. And finally, the most interesting part, talking about the prices of this modification. As I said, such an used quad may cost you just about $300. But the electric components would cost more, of course. The total price of the whole electric kit, including a motor, a battery, a controller and so on, is about $2000. By the way, with these electric kits you can modify not only such quads, but almost any kind of motorcycles and even small vehicles. Well guys, as usually I would like you to post comments with your opinions about this modification. Do you like it? What is better, gas engine or electric power? And now let's go today. Thanks for watching guys. Please consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. It will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.